In the next 15 minutes, I'm going to show you how to create an AI note-taking assistant that automatically organizes everything you capture. Because you know what's ridiculous? The average person spends 76 minutes every day organizing their digital information. We're literally walking around with supercomputers in our pockets, and yet we're still organizing notes like it's 1995. Batana isn't like most note-taking apps. It's fast to capture, but it's also smart enough to do the organizing for you. So you can quickly jot down, meet Sarah about the marketing project next Tuesday, and know that the task is gonna be connected to the project and show up next Tuesday when you're meeting Sarah. So today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to set this magic up in Tana. But before we jump in, if you don't have time to watch endless YouTube tutorials and you just want to build a flexible digital workspace that works harder than you do, then check out my Tana Fast Track course. It will get you up and running in Tana, well, fast. First, you'll learn all the fundamentals in less than one hour. Next, you'll choose from our six core workflow templates that are simple, plug and play. There are not 86 super tags to install that you'll never use. You choose what templates you need to customize your workflow. And you also have our TFT community to ask questions and get direct help from me, plus a load of other resources. Over 500 people have already taken time to fast track and loved it. So if you want to get on the fast track, I'll leave a link in the description below. Now this magic comes from a tiny little feature in Tana called autofill fields, and you probably didn't even know it existed. So what we're going to do is two things. Firstly, we're going to set up our fields so that they autofill. And second, we're going to set up a command in our super tag so that that happens automatically. And I'm going to show you three examples that you can use this autofill feature on things that you capture. So we're going to talk about tasks, we're going to talk about agenda items, and we're going to talk about the notes and highlights that you save every day. So let's jump into tasks first. So you can see here that I have a task. Now, for many of us, we have tasks like this, right? Rep write report, do this thing, and they're related to different things. So in my task super tag, I have a related project field, I have a related person field, I have a due date field, all of that. And so usually what you would do is you would come in here. If this is for the Acme project, you would say Acme. Uh, if I have to do this with Ev, then I select her, and then I say, well, I have to do this next Tuesday, okay? And at first, this doesn't seem too bad because this is the way we've always done it. But when you see how Tana can actually be smart and auto-fill these fields, doing that feels like you're in the dinosaur age, okay? So rather than do that, I can just use natural language to create my task. So I can say write report for Acme with Ev, next Tuesday. Okay, you can just write like you just do naturally, add the tag, and then what's going to happen is AI is going to process that. And when we open it up, it's already got a related project, a related person, and the due date is next Tuesday. Plus, it's rewritten our task so that it removes all of that natural languaging, and it just says write report for Acme. So if I go into my Acme project now, I have all of my related tasks, which now I have, you know, four different write reports for Acme, which is fine. If I click into Ev, I know I've got a couple of tasks that I need to do with her. And then obviously it's going to show up next Tuesday when I need to do it. So setting this up is a two-step process. So firstly, what we're going to do is we want to set up our autofill fields. And then we're going to add a command that when we add the tag, those fields automatically fill. The way to make this work is if we go into our task super tag, what you want to do is uh, open up your content template and you want to make sure that you've got some related fields that you want to autofill. So let's just say you have a related person. So in here, because this is an options from super tag field, um, it's looking for anything that is tagged with person. And this is as easy as setup. So all you have to do is come into the field configuration, scroll all the way down, and literally just turn this toggle on. AI enhanced field. That's it. It will look for uh, anything that it can tag as person. If you have multiple people, it's going to look for multiple people and fill those in. I told you it was super easy, okay? <laughs> Now, you can also use other fields like options fields, okay? So, for instance, my project field is not a options from super tag field, but it is just an options field. 
Uh, so what that means is that instead of the dropdown having all of the projects I've ever tagged with, with project, which can also mean, mean completed ones, cancelled ones, those kinds of things, I only want it to show me active projects. So I use the options field here. And then I also um, have the sources of options as projects. And if we open up, this is just a search. So it's looking for anything tagged project where the project status is one of these three, which are my active projects. And so what that means is we can set this up in almost exactly the same way. Uh, so I turn on AI enhanced field, but then I also turn on this custom prompt. Okay. And that just gives the AI a little bit more info about what I want it to do. And this is a really simple prompt that I use. Review the task below and match it to an appropriate project. It looks at the name. Um, and then it also has the projects here. Um, and this is just a reference from what is up here. So I just copy and paste it down here. And then really important, I add this to all of my custom prompts. Do not include commentary, okay? And all that's gonna do is return the project and then you're good to go, okay? And so that is step one. That's how you use the autofill fields. But to make this happen automatically, we need to do one more step, which is add a command to our super tag. So again, we're going to go into task and configure, and then we're going to go to AI and commands. Down here, you're not going to put it here in any of the, the menus. We don't need to show it to show up. What we want to do is we want to add it down here under trigger commands on events. So anytime that we add this super tag to a node, we want this command to run. So if we open up the command here, I call this auto project, um, but you can also call it autofill. So what we're doing is we're using the autofill fields command module. With this particular command module, you can literally keep this part blank and it will autofill all the fields and just do it all for you. But there's a couple of different things that that I have put into this particular autofill that makes it run a little bit better. So firstly, uh, what I'm doing is I am asking it to rewrite the title. Okay, so um, rather than it's still saying write report for Acme with Ev on Tuesday, I don't need it to say all of those details. Okay, I just want it to be write report for Acme. Um, so I just ask it to do this, rewrite the task without dates, projects or people information. Okay, and then I just add this extra field, which is autofill title, which is basically saying change the title. And then I also um, have another configuration, which is fields to exclude. So whenever you use this particular command, it's going to try and autofill every single field. I don't necessarily want it to do that. So I have put a couple of fields in here that I don't want it to uh, fill. One of those is progress note. The other is task status. Every other field I'm happy for it to, to work on. I use this every day on my tasks and it means that I don't end up with an inbox full of stuff that I have to organize and process at the end of the day. I just know it's already all there. So let's then talk about meeting agenda items. I don't know about you, but for me, there's often things that come up during the day and I just kind of jot them down. Something I have to speak, you know, to somebody about at the next weekly team meeting or it's an agenda that I have to speak with somebody about. And so I just jot these down. And what I do is I have an agenda super tag like this um, and I get it to auto organize my things. Okay, so let's say that we have a weekly team meeting. And this weekly team meeting is for next Monday. So what we can do is we can add agenda items to that meeting. So if we come here, um, uh, I can say I need to talk about, uh, let's say I need to talk about the Acme marketing plan. Okay. So I can say Acme marketing plan at next week's team meeting. So again, we're just capturing things in natural language and then tagging them. And if we open this up, we're going to see it relates it to the Acme project and to next week's weekly team meeting. Uh, if I needed to uh, talk about it with a specific person, um, I could say discuss Acme marketing plan with Ev at next team meeting. Okay, tag it. And now you're going to find all three of these 
are filled in automatically for you. Now imagine all week just capturing things out of your head and then turning up to the weekly team meeting and having all of the agenda items right there and you have not organized one single one of them. This is like magic. Again, these are autofill fields, okay? So it's looking for related meeting, it's looking for related person, and each of these are set up the same, okay? Uh, literally, AI enhanced field is just turned on. And then in our agenda, in our AI and commands, we just have a really si simple auto field. It's auto filling all of the fields. And then I basically just ask it to rewrite this as a single agenda item for a meeting, keeping it short and brief. I also use this constantly throughout the week and it is a game changer for getting things out of my head and making sure they go to the right agendas. So the third way that I use this is actually in my note taking. So as I get ideas, as I read things and save highlights, I save everything as a Spark note. And uh, I then want to go through and find connections in my notes um, to different collections that I have. So collections are kind of bigger ideas that I can collect little spark notes into and then I can kind of bring those together and start to form my own thoughts. Okay so one thing that I like to do is kind of you know have some initial collections that it auto fills for me. So let's say I've got this note, I was reading this article and I've captured some highlights. Okay so what I do is uh, I just add my spark note uh, super tag. So as soon as I add that in, what this does is it automatically looks for a collection or collections that it can be part of. Okay, so it's chosen note taking and personal knowledge management, which makes sense. Now, the way that I've configured this particular autofill field is that it should return as many different collections as it can that it thinks is connected to this particular note. Um, so it doesn't just have to be one you know, uh, one thing that it returns, it can return multiples. So how this is set up is in the Sparknote. In our content template, I just have a super tag, an options from super tag field uh, that I have uh, used AI enhanced field on. And then I've also given it just an extra custom prompt because I want it to return those multiple collections. Um, I want it to maybe look for some interesting ideas, that kind of thing. So I'm just giving it a little helping hand uh, to make sure it finds the right things. So I said, analyze the following note and connect it to as many collections as it might be relevant. Um, I put the note in. Now here I've used the sys context tag. Um, and what that does is it, it sends the whole note off, everything in the note, including all of my highlights, all of that, sends it off to AI and then um, uses that um, as a basis. I have then got a search in here for all of my collections. Okay, so if we open this up, it's just finding all my collections. And then again, I'm adding this very important uh, line, do not add any commentary. And I also put in here, focus on direct connection. Sometimes it can go really wild. And I just want it to, you know, in the beginning, focus on those really direct collections so that I'm not looking through a hundred different collections trying to find what it could be connected to. So the second thing is just add the autofill command here. And on this particular one, I don't have any extra configuration. I don't need it to rewrite anything for me. Um, I just wanted to find that collection. And so I leave it blank. And so I just find this a really great way to find those initial connections on notes. And then I can come in and I can do my own uh, connecting uh, where I might find, you know, unusual connections or, you know, things that uh, are not directly connected into a node. And you can set this up on any of your super tags to make it automatically organize your notes. It really is a game changer. So all you have to do is step one, create your autofill fields by switching on AI enhanced field. And step two, create your autofill command and put it in on added on your super tag. It's as easy as that. This is exactly how technology should work. Smart enough to understand what you're capturing and organize it automatically. But the real power comes when you combine this with other ton of features like voice notes, and then you don't have to type anything. And I show you exactly how to do that right here. And don't forget, if you want to build a smart digital workspace that works harder than you do, check out my ton of fast track course. And if you want more ton of content in your feed, like and subscribe to the channel.